Super Raptor here, and welcome back everyone to another episode of Viva Pinata. So, uh, last time we uh, got this wolf over here, um, this guy showed up, and uh, yeah, so he's probably going to be the next one that we're going to end up needing to get. So we're needing him to kind of actually come into the garden here so we can see what else he needs. And uh, aside from him, all we got really left is the baboon, which hasn't showed up yet, but we're already prepped for him, so, uh, not too much left to go until we finish with all of the, uh, sour pinatas. Uh, so anyways, we'll, uh, we'll see what this guy does. Hopefully he'll come in here in just a second and figure out, uh, what, what he needs. Come on, dude. Come on in here. Yep, that's nice. You're gonna be a jackass and not are you? Come on. Oh, alright, here we go. Ooh, it's not your mm -hmm. lucky day. <laughs> yeah, so what he'll come in and do is uh be like, hey look at the uh, that uh, motherfucker over there, you see him? He says, your mom looks like an ugly ass whore. And they're gonna be like, what? Motherfucker. And they're gonna stop on over there. And be like, hey bitch. Be like, uh, your mom got fucked in the ass last night by a, uh, a rash berry. And then they're gonna be like, what? He's like, what the fuck you talking about? Well, like, like I didn't say, uh, shit to you, you fucking jackass, but what's your problem? And be like, like, well, don't be calling my mom a whore, you bitch. Be like, I didn't call your mom a whore. Be like, I don't fucking believe you, asshole. And they just start duking it out. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I'm just saying stupid shit now. But yeah, you get my point. He, he, he starts shit. You know. He, he just spreads rumors and starts shit. He's, he's a fucking asshole. He's like a teenage girl. <laughs> Alright, now we got the uh, swan fucking the pig, so, other way around. I guess uh, the pig wasn't so bad in bed after all, what do you think, huh? <laughs> oh, hey, there's this dude. You wanna come in here and uh, get your ass whooped by a uh, giant snake? Come here and get your ass whooped by a giant snake. Alright, let's plant one of these uh, gem seeds down here. These take a long time to uh, actually get going. And I'm not sure what that costs, but uh, we'll check. Yeah, I knocked. Now that's a helper. Oh, yeah, that's what I. Ooh, okay, 16.5, so that's going to cost a bit. Now we are on the same level. I was known as Legendary Gardener, and from now on, so will you. You goddamn right I am. You know what? I don't give a shit what anybody says. I'm better than you, motherfucker. Three days, my ass on that bullshit you said the host started this series. Oh hell, we got a goddamn elephant. It's been a long time since this garden could attract an elephantilla. Your gardening skills must be excellent. Well, no shit, I'm a legendary gardener. Didn't you hear the motherfucker? Damn, that's a lot of notifications. Oh shit. Oh hell, this motherfucker's in here. You ready to get your ass whooped? You know I should get your ass whooped. <laughs> come on. Oh yeah, come on. Come on, get your ass whooped, bitch. Come on, whoop his ass. Whoop his ass. Whoop that motherfucker up. Okay, this is the most retarded little fight I've ever seen. Come on, there you go, yeah. Oh yeah, you got fucked up, son. You just got dazed, so he is fucked up. Watch this. Oh shit. Bam, bitch. 
You just got knocked the fuck out. Hell yeah. That's number seven. Been awarded Even the goddamn crocodile is the last is one. Been a while since I've seen the croc. Alright, we got the goddamn baboon. Alright guys, so we've now got the oak tree unlocked as well. And this thing is fucking massive. You gotta give a big area for it. And you actually need a couple of these for um, for the e glare, so we're gonna throw one in there. I don't even know where the hell we're gonna put it second. Yeah, uh, you know what guys, there's something else we gotta do here. Yeah, we gotta build the beavers a place. And we've got, of course, gotta go ahead and master romance all these beavers. Because they're beavers. And, of course, like I said, I think in an earlier episode, well, we gotta make up a bunch of vagina jokes, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna work on them for a little bit, while we wait. So we need more water before that's even any good. I think we can actually still, uh, somehow pull that off. We ain't got a lot of space, but I think we can pull that off. We got the Wario's coming in. God, those guys are such a pain in the ass to get. I never thought I'd see the day when someone could surpass my achievements. You have earned a new rank. Ultimate Gardener. That's right, bitch. I'm better than you. Even you're admitting I'm better than you. You suck. I'm so amazing, you suck compared to me. Just saying. Fuck off. Alright, anyway. Probably should have looked at those to see what the hell I got that experience for. Alright, so you guys may be wondering. What is in this big ass building right here? Well, I finally built the damn mine. Yeah, there we go. And it's a completely random event, but if we can get it, we can get the dragon. So, what we're going to need is to... I have no idea how much it costs for one of those guys. <laughs> Welcome to Arthur's Inn. It's the first time I've been in this place. Yeah. Good. So we're going to get this, and you know what? We're going to say fuck it. We're going to get three of these bastards. We're going to go hardcore in on this one. Yeah, I, I literally grew a full-grown oak tree long before this thing grew, and I started this gym tree a long time before it, so it takes a very long time to grow this, and you need this. I guess you don't technically need it, unless you, it's required to attract it into the garden, but this is required to get the, uh, the unicorn. I don't know what it's actually called, I, I really don't remember, but it's a unicorn. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Where are those beaver scissor? I guess that's scissoring. Is that what the scissoring looks like? <laughs> oh, I'm a terrible person. Alright. <laughs> okay, your ass in. Uh, I mean, like, if you're trying to do a public display of eating its ass. You're doing a good job, but you need to move the fuck out the way so that, uh, you know, y'all can get in there. I mean, I, I mean, I guess this beaver's really getting in there anyway, but, I mean, that, that's not what I mean by getting in there. Yeah, that, that's, that's pretty obvious. It's because this dipshit won't move out of the way. Many hours later. There you go, dumbass Jesus. Ah, oh, shit, this motherfucker's back. Er, well, he was back. Yep. Can you decide if you're coming in or not? Got it. Damn it, dickhole. 
Yeah, get in here. Get in here and eat like one of these damn sweet too. Like that one right there is getting ready to hatch. You can have it. There you go. Ah, fuck. I gotta make more water. Okay. Ah, fuck. Are you kidding me? I sold them both. Son of a bitch. God damn it. They were getting in fights with the damn... Oh, fuck me. Ah, uh, you fucking retard. Ah, uh, you're lucky that you're valuable. Oh. Yeah, take care of this dumbass. God damn it. Alright, fuck it. You know what? I'm gonna send Gretchen out to get the goddamn swan. Son of a bitch. That really kind of sucks. But at least now we know what we need. That should be the last requirement. Yeah, it's too bad he couldn't munch on at least one of them or something like that now. He made a whole goddamn garden sit. He's still fucking shit. Holy hell, dude. I think I've ever... Yeah, fuck. Oh. Have ever seen one ever stick so much damn like candy like that out? This dude, damn, no, God, you fucking idiot! Literally, I just healed your ass. Like I didn't even see that shit. Damn. Holy hell, dude. Like, I, I, I've seen him stick out, like, candy before, you know, a little bit here and there, but this dude is, like, non-stop. That is probably easily to, like, 20 pieces. Usually they'll come in, spit out two to four, and that's it. But holy shit, that dude, like, spit out, like, a... Hey, got some work from... Oh, goddamn, uh... <laughs> Like 20 of them bastards. Holy hell, dude. I don't think I've ever seen that before. You uh, anyway, I got a gold nugget and a sapphire from the mine that day. Yeah, that'll help at least pay for some of the doctor's expenses. Holy shit. God damn. That was actually a really rough visit. I've never had it that bad before. Really though, they, they do, they really only come in, usually hit up candy a couple times and that's it, but that dude was, he spit it out like a dozen times, that was insane. Alright, well, uh, I guess I didn't need the second one, I guess he already ate one or somewhere along the line that I didn't know about, so uh... You've been awarded a piece of the Tower of Sawa. Each piece you have keeps a different pest mm. away from your garden. There it is! The complete Tower of Sour. Look at that, there it is. 100% complete. All eight. So we got all the Sours. So, well, we no longer have to worry about that. And, uh, I guess probably pretty soon we'll end up seeing the little shit that comes up at night that's a real pain in the ass to, uh, make it to a resident, but, uh, yeah. Oh, just sitting on a molehill, okay. There we go. And here's that little shit I was just talking about, uh, the Galagoogoo. You only come in here when you got a full tower of sour. That's very impressive. You mm -hmm. attracted a Galagoogoo. They won't even show up until they know that sour piñatas can't come into a garden. And even then, they're still a complete pain in the ass. So, uh, yeah. They're, they're, they're a bit of an asshole, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so... Uh, as promised, we are gonna rename 
all of these beavers. So we're going to make this one hairy beaver. <laughs> oh, come on. Why does it give me problems like this? I don't know why. I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense. Hey, right, guys. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, still kind of like the last time when we were trying to name the uh, the little worms and whatnot. For some reason, it seems to be like it's wanting to censor me on certain things. But um, yeah, for some reason, while that doesn't work, that does. So yeah, that's how we're going to spell uh, Harry Beaver. Mm. So there we go. We're going to go with that one. Mm. So, there is that one. Let's see, what else we can we come up with here? Uh, how about, um... How about a furry taco? <laughs> there we go, that's two. Alright, this is Cooter. Really? I can't do Cooter. Uh, okay, there's seriously gonna be some sort of censorship on this game. I, I don't know why it let me name the one wiggly little penis, but for some reason it named, allowed me to name one wiggly little penis. Even after I tried it the first time, it didn't work. For some reason, it's not working with these. So, um, yeah, we're going to, uh, I don't know, Cooter, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll spell it with a, uh, Extra E. That's like Couture, though, isn't it? Couture. Can we spell it like that? Maybe the E is silent? I don't know. We'll go with it for now. Who knows? Maybe like the other one. Maybe if I let it sit for a bit. Come back to it. Maybe it'll let me change it. Because it was not letting me change it at first, you know, before. So, we'll see. Uh, this one. Will be. Well, yeah, there we go. Will be Snatch. Yeah. Uh, how about this one? I don't know. Uh, how about Furry Box? Can you name it that? Yeah, there we go. Furry Box. All right. Honestly, I, I'm I'm starting to run out of uh out of ideas here. Uh, this one's gonna be Honey Pot. There we go. All right. I'm basically out of ideas, so uh, we're just gonna go with Painting. Oh, really? Can't do it that way? Uh, how about that? Can I do it that way? No? Can't do Poontang? Well, lowercase. Mm. How about Poontang? Oh, come on! Poontang. This is bullshit. There is definitely censorship. Well, it's just poon. What about tang? Well, that's bullshit. Okay, what about, uh... Come on, give me this one. God damn it, really? This is some serious bullshit. Alright, well, I don't really got any of those ideas, and this has got to be one it'll take. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Muffin it is. <laughs> I really don't know what else to do, guys. It, it, I don't know how this game censors, but it censors somehow. I really still do not know how after I came back to it later. Where is he at? I know he's still in this garden somewhere. Nope. Uh, where are you hiding? There you are. Yeah, I still don't know how we managed to get this guy renamed to this later. It, it would no longer, you know, censor it, but yeah, it's, it's censoring these again, so I don't know what the deal is. Okay, guys, so I uh, actually figured something out about this game. It will actually only censor you. If you are actually connected in to Games for Windows Live. So, uh, as you can see here, I've renamed a couple of them. Uh, not that one. Let's see, where are they all? Not that one either. Come on, where are the ones? There we go. See? 
I was able to rename this one the way I originally was trying. And let's see, where's our last one? It, yeah. Okay. No, not there. Well, I don't know where it's at, but no. Why does it do that? No. Oh here. Oh yeah. And we got cooter spelt the way we wanted as well. So yeah, as it turns out, you are censored, but you're only censored while you're connected to the internet. So, um, what kind of gave me this idea is because I remember when I was playing early on and I was doing that, I got a random message telling me that I disconnected, and I was like, you know, okay, I just ignored it, and I came back, and I was able to, you know, rename it the way I wanted. And as it appears now, when you're offline, it does not censor you and if you saved it it stays that way so uh, yeah if for some reason you ever do play the game and uh, you want to give it names like that yeah just uh, disconnect it afterwards but you do have to connect it with um, games for Windows Live I think they actually even make a save file for the game it's really weird and like that but yeah, so that's how you do it. You just uh, disconnect yourself from the internet, and you're good. It works. So, uh, anyways, yeah, I'm still waiting on these guys to, uh, you know, pop up the dragon. But I thought I'd pop in just uh, let you guys know how to do that, just in case you're wondering. So, I'll be back. All right, guys, and we are back. My God, it took forever. Where finally these guys have dug up the uh, the dragon egg. So um, one thing we got to do now is uh, we got to pick a surface for whatever color we want. Like um, I think you get like kind of brown for the dirt, blue in the water, green on the grass. Each different area has its own. Like I said, the um, if you have any of the uh, hard ground left, that'll give you a gold one. Uh, I don't have any, because I don't care okay too much. Personally, I like blue, so we're going to drop it in there. And if I remember correctly, we got to have our cluckles come and sit on it, and then that'll allow us to uh, hatch yeah, the egg. In. So let's go ahead and get us some cluckles here. Alright. And then you sit on that egg. There we go. We got the dragon. You just send it away. You make sure. Yeah. So this is one. It's a permanent resident. You cannot get rid of it. Really. Uh, you can send it away, but um, you're got. You can. Uh, you can always get Gretchen to bring it back, but. Um, yeah, so there we go. And this is technically just a baby form. You can make it into an adult by having it eat a bunch of things. I think it's like some milk, um, like a salamander, dragonfly, a bunch of stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go in and try to do a bunch of that. Uh, but anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for uh, this series. If you like the video... Please pounce on that like button if you haven't already. Join the pack by subscribing below. Have a good day, everyone.